Welcome to Sunday Speakers to Master Club. I see a lot of new faces. I'm very glad to hear and everybody want to get on social media, right? And today we have a social media expert. Jimmy Lynch, a producer and director, owns a digital video company that specializes in creating online videos for businesses. Do we have any business owners here today? Your own business? But he had worked for Warner Brothers on Batman versus Superman. How many have watched this one? I don't want to hold it against you if you haven't. <laughs> Dawn of Justice, the recent movie, great movie, and produced a short film from Amazon Prime called Scavenger. He's also a social media expert. So we're very lucky to have him to train us how to make best presentation of ourselves on social media. Welcome, Jimmy. Thank you, everybody. So just a quick show of hands. Uh, he was just asking how many people own a business. How many people here are public speakers, are interested in speaking publicly? OK, a few people. Makes sense since we're at Toastmasters Club. Uh, how many people want to use public speaking and to make that their business? You want to do that for a living someday? <laughs> All right, Michelle's on board. Um, so whether you're public speaking for a living or whether you're doing it as a hobby, there's a lot that you can gain from social media. There's a lot that being able to make your own videos is going to help you with in that regard. So when you're trying to get a job speaking at an event, someone's going to ask you to show them a video of when you were speaking before. Got to know how to shoot a video to make that happen, right? Or somebody might stumble across you on the internet. I know a lot of public speakers are doing this today, where they'll make a YouTube channel and they'll just, you know, they'll they'll share inspirational life hacks and things like that on their YouTube channel, and they'll have a different video each week about a different uh, something inspirational or a different type of routine, something that can help and people will come along and start to follow their channel, and they'll grow a following. So when people want to hire you to speak at their event, and they see that you have 500 followers on your Facebook page, they'll know you're probably a good person to hire, because people like your channel, and they like hear hearing you speak. Hey, welcome, come on in. Hello. Take a seat. Um, so being able to use video and being able to use YouTube uh, are definitely important things when you're marketing, when you're trying to build your own brand. So that's what we're going to be talking about today. There are going to be three things that we're going to cover. We're going to break this talk into three parts. The first part, uh, we're going to be talking about how to shoot a YouTube video. The second part, we'll be talking about how to edit a YouTube video. And the third part will be all about how do you manage your YouTube channel in a way that will help you to get more views. Now, disclaimer. Um, when it comes to YouTube, there is no magic bullet. I can't automatically make you get more views, but I can give you some tips and give you some suggestions that might help you to appeal to more people. All right, so let's dive into it. The first thing we're going to talk about today is Hello. how not to make your YouTube video. So I have an example here. Can you guys see this all right? No. No, that's the right answer. Why can't you see this? Too dark. dark. It's way too dark. Light. Right. So you guys, there's a lot of light, but it's behind me. I'm standing in front of a window, and you guys can't see my face. This is how not to shoot a video. <laughs> so a lot of times, people, when you're, when you're looking at somebody, you can see them. Right? Doesn't matter if there's a window behind them. Doesn't matter if it's bright, if it's dark. Most of the times, we can see people because our eyes are very good um, at adjusting. Cameras, not so much. So if you were, if I was standing in front of this window right now and you were looking at me, you'd be able to see my face. Camera cannot see my face, 
because the background is so dark. Oh, hey, good idea. Who can I use this? Ta-da. Like I go say? There we go. Is it okay if we turn off the lights for a minute? Yeah, yeah just for a minute. I'm only going to show a couple of videos. So yeah, even with the lights off, you still can't see me that well. It's pretty dark. Um, and not only that, but the sound is really bad. I know you can't tell because the speakers are really small, but I'm going to try to play the sound again. I shot this video yesterday and I was pretending to be a YouTuber, so forgive me if I sound a little silly. What's up everybody? Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to talk about the most awesome topic ever, and that is how to make a YouTube video. Alright, before we dive into it, here's a word from our sponsor. <laughs> Don't judge me. Um, so in making this video, we shot... I. No light on my face, too much light behind me, and because the speakers in this room are so small, you can't really tell, but there was a lot of noise in the background, too. My, my brother was in the other room playing his bass guitar. Couldn't hear it here, that's okay, uh, but if you were watching it um, on your computer, you'd probably be able to hear the noise in the background and things like that. Um, so two things when you're shooting your video, you want to make sure you get right are the video, what you see, the face, the light that in the way it hits you and everything like that, and what you hear, the audio. So I'm going to talk a little bit more about that in a little bit. So I got another video here. This video is, this one's a little bit better, but not a whole lot. Not sure what's going on there. <laughs> Technical difficulties, everyone. Okay, well, you guys don't have to hear what I say. Um, so this video, the lighting is a little bit better, but it's still not, the video itself isn't that great. Can anybody tell me why this video looks boring right now? Too much white space? Yeah. Okay, that's a good, good, very good answer. Anyone else? Why this video might look boring and uninteresting? There's nothing in the background. <laughs> um, so I shot this with my back right up against uh, a wall, and uh, it just it looks very plain. There's nothing really interesting about it. Um, when you shoot video for YouTube, it always helps to have an interesting background. How many of you guys watch YouTube videos on a regular basis? And when people shoot their video YouTube videos, have you ever noticed what's in the background? What, what are some of the things you see in the background of your favorite YouTube videos? Pictures, living room, everywhere. Uh-huh. Yeah. The kitchen? Um, the one I really like is um, something about fashion. Someone is talking, and then the next to her, it's the picture is showing. So it really, like for me, it doesn't matter like the whole background how does that look. Okay. But then she bring the information next sure, to her. Sure, sure. Putting that information yeah. on the screen. Right. And that's something that we can talk about more when we get to the editing part. That's a very good point that you yeah. brought up there. So you mentioned. Sometimes you see how their house is decorated in the background, and that's always interesting to us. Um, but a lot of the YouTube videos that I watch, people will have something thematic in the background. So I'm going to go to this next video. And, you know, just, you know, we just met, so we did, you guys probably don't know this about me. So we're getting to know each other. I am a huge Star Wars fan. Is there anybody in this room who likes Star Wars? Mm -hmm. All right, there's a couple people. So I decided to shoot this video to talk about Star Wars. And it didn't take me very long to find some Star Wars background because I have a lot of Star Wars stuff in my room. Um, so let's go ahead and watch this example. We'll see if the computer works this time. Star Wars. 
Nope. <laughs> Maybe if I clear my RAM a little bit, let's see if that gives us any. Today we're bringing you the latest news of upcoming Star Wars yeah. the Band of Mandalore. Maybe I'm sitting too far away from the uh, projector. Let's see if it works if I sit here. Bro, just released some new updates on season two. <laughs> also, how is new Disney CEO Bob Chapek's role going to affect Kathleen Kennedy and the future of Star Wars? So, notice there's a couple things different in this video, right? Mm -hmm. Out of the three videos I just showed you, which is the video that you want to learn how to make today? This one. This one. Okay, so there's a couple things going on. We've got an interesting background. Um, we have, we're cutting to close up, and I'll explain later why we're doing that. Uh, but it looks a little bit more professional. We have some background music. I'll show you guys how to do that. Um, and we also have good lighting. So there's a number of things. Unfortunately, with these speakers, you can't hear this, but the sound quality is a lot better in this video. And the reason why is because hidden right here on my collar, can anybody see that? It's yeah. black, so it blends in with my shirt. Mm -hmm. What do you guys see? My the microphone, yes. Um, so we're going to be talking about how to get good audio as well as good video. So with that down and out of the way, let's jump into it. I'm going to turn the lights back on for us. Oh, thanks, Michelle. So, what's the first thing you need to shoot a good video? Lighting. Okay. Lighting. What else? A camera. A camera. Good. What else? Background. Background. Good. What else? Microphone. Microphone. Yes. Good. So let's start with talking about the camera. Because the first question people always ask me is, what camera should I buy? And the answer I always tell them is, hmm. Sounds like good advice, right? Mm -hmm. No, really, it doesn't matter what camera you buy. We live in 2019. Every camera on the market can shoot HD. Every camera in the market can shoot in color. Every camera in the market can shoot video that's good enough for you to put on the internet. In fact, I would venture to say that most of the people in this room already have an HD camera in your pocket. Mm -hmm. Your phone, yes. So, um, a lot of times, you can just get a tripod and put a clip on it that'll hold your phone, and that can be your video. Now, today, the camera I'm going to be working with is the Sony A6500. It's not a very expensive camera if you're, if you're looking to invest in a camera for your YouTube videos. Uh, it runs... Depending on where you get it, it runs between nine and twelve hundred dollars. Uh, it's a mirrorless camera, so it's like a DSLR in that you can change the lens. Um, which is a great feature to have on a camera, because the more you learn about cameras, the more you're going to learn about the different types of lenses. We're not going to learn about that today. but. Being able to do that allows me to get different effects. So if you guys ever watched a YouTube video and you saw that the person who's talking is really, really sharp and in focus, mm -hmm. and the background is really, really blurry, yeah. mm -hmm. that's because of the type of lens that they're using. And so that's a very popular thing to do with uh, YouTube videos. So um, that's just one advantage of using this camera over your phone. But once again, using your phone camera totally fine. Any questions so far? Okay, great. So, you always want to shoot with a good tripod. I like to use Velbon. Um, V-E-L-B-O-N. Now, any tripod will do. But for the price, this is a pretty good tripod. Uh, for a comparable tripod, you might have to spend $200. This one, only 100. It's sturdy, it's light, and if you're really, really tall, you can make it tall just like you. <laughs> if you're not